Good Monday, makers. Welcome back to another episode of Maker Pipe Monday. This is where we go over all the builds that have been posted to the community over the week. Let's get into it. The first one we have is a raft kayak frame from Andrew. He had this inflatable uh, raft that had uh, it got ripped and the floor wasn't that great so he decided to build a new frame and a new uh, floor and seats and this is what he did he made it out of uh, wood conduit and maker pipe fittings he's got this is it upside down and you can see it that's in place in the raft and he's got uh, some plank wood for the seats hold held on by one hole straps here to the conduit and then he's got this whole structure that fits perfectly into the center section of the raft. And you see what he did here, he made this curve, these bends, which look really slick, and they fit just perfectly on the side sections, the pontoon sections of the raft. So he's got new seats, a stronger frame, and it looks great. Thanks so much for sharing, Andrew. Awesome build. Next one we have is Can Caddy by Mike. In his shop, he needed a way to uh, support the trash bag so he could put his cans and his recyclables in there. And he made this small little cart and it came out great. It's got a top and a bottom square and he uses the top to hold the trash bag in with these clamps. And then he's got this bottom square with four casters to roll it around. Uh, and you can see he only put uprights on two sides I think to have some room to expand the bag so he could fit more cans in it uh, and keep the footprint really small, which is a smart idea. And there's a shot of the top where he clamps the bag in and uh, it looks like he's got some pallets in the background and a shop in there. So uh, awesome build, Mike. Thanks so much for sharing. Glad it's working out for you. Next build we've got is one that was emailed to us and I posted to the community. This is a temporary barrier uh, and they did it in a tennis court, but really you could be doing this um, anywhere you need a temporary barrier that you need to move around. Um, but it just uses a few T connectors. You can see the main structure is just six T connectors um, with maybe a four way at the bottom here for the legs. And then the really cool thing is they made a gate and you can see that with the T connectors here, they used two T connectors to hold on to that vertical pole and then four more to create this gate. And uh, it's a lot, we get a lot of questions about how to do a hinge or how to do a gate with our connectors. And one of the great ways is to remove the friction band from the inside of the connector and it gives it a little bit looser grip on the pipe. And then just put a small dab of grease on the inside where it grabs onto the pipe. And that allows you to do something like this where it uh, swivels on that vertical post and turns out to be a great gate. So we love seeing this and really can be used in all kinds of different applications, not only on a tennis court. Uh, so we really appreciate seeing this. Next one we have is by John. John needed a way to put his bird feeder right in front of an elevated window, whether it be a second story window. Um, and this is his solution, which I think is just ingenious. He had the deck off to the right here and then created basically a, a bird feeder crane that he could swivel out to the deck for access and then back into position uh, so he could get that maximum bird viewing um, out of his windows and it's so cool and it looks like he just used three connectors too he's got two 45s here with this support uh, for the crane arm and then one right here connecting the the arm horizontal arm to the vertical so really inexpensive build and he also did something neat with the the swivel and how he mounted it to his house he's got a mount up here in the eave but down here he needed to attach it to the existing deck railing and this is what he came up with he's got a piece of wood here with drilled for the right size of conduit and then he was saying how it locks in place so he's able to lock it in front of the window and then unlock it and swivel it when uh, when he needs to so looks great fantastic solution john and uh, i bet it helps keep the critters out too no more squirrels getting to it thanks so much for sharing last build we have for this week is by yeg electric posted on instagram and yeg electric he is a commercial 
electrician and needed a blueprint, a job site blueprint table and made it out of maker pipe and conduit. And anytime an electrician takes interest in our products, we really get a kick out of that because they're using conduit in their job uh, every day for a different purpose, running wires through it, right? And to see that repurposed with our connectors to build something structural, I think is really cool. And, and we've got a lot of p positive feedback from electricians in that regard. And in his build, he did both. He both ran wires through it and use it structurally with our connector. So you can see he's got a table here with a slanted print surface that he just made out of plywood, really good for the job site. And then he's got an overhead light with uh, the wires for the overhead light here with a switch, wired down to a junction box, and then uh, a cable going out here with another junction box. So he's running the wires through the conduit and maker pipe connectors on the outside. And that's that's awesome. I haven't seen that a whole lot and I think it's a really cool uh, use. But check this out. He's got, he's busy at work with his technical drawings here. And uh, there's a picture of the lower shelf with the junction box casters on the bottom so he can move it around the job site. There's his, uh, his sticker with his Instagram on there. Really cool. I like that. And then here's the hero shot with all his blueprints and then this lower shelf. Awesome build. Love seeing it. There's it in progress. Another cool thing was the, the moon lighting that he used to communicate to the apprentices. I think it was uh, purple. You know, don't bother me apprentices. Or if it's a cool light, then uh, like blue, then it's Friday and uh, he's in a good mood. So... Uh, great, great build, and we love seeing it. And this is Paul's Instagram channel, so check him out. Uh, there he's at YEG Electric. And that's all we've got for this week. Thanks, everybody, for joining us and posting their builds. We love seeing them, and we'd love to see more. Let us know which one of these five you liked down in the comments below. And if you want to see more great builds like this, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, everybody. See you next week. Mm -hmm.